but you think I'm fucking with you? Cool, so I am not fucking with you. The reason I'm asking you for my time is that because as far as anyone I've spoken to that's kind of big in the rum tiki world, you're the man to go to for a mic. Just, just don't ask Julian because he'll say something different. But yeah. Yeah, Julian also <laughs> invented cucumbers. Very true. <laughs> so, <laughs> hi, hi, Jules. <laughs> um, yeah, but so, um, you're the best guy I know to make a mic type for me. You've also made the best cosmopolitan delight that I've ever had. Remember that? Boom. Yeah, of course. Very <laughs> fucking special. Sorry, I learned um, the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> First time, nailed it. <laughs> Still the best I've ever had. Um, so, what is your personal Mai Tai for the kids at home? How do they make a Mai Tai? So this is going to be a, a mix of free rums to somewhat reproduce the flavor profile that was lost uh, in Ray 17. Now that's a, that's a long story that goes through many, many different uh, iterations used by Jade Ovec from the Ray 17 to Ray 15 to some lost Jamaican rums which are no longer made. But to, but to make the closest to that and what I think and what has worked best for me in a Mai Tai, it's going to be a combination of two Jamaican rums. It's going to be a, a highly aged uh, Appleton from obviously the J. Ray and Nephew Company, yep. uh, the same one who manufactured the original rum. Uh, we're going to be using some uh, really heavy pure pot still, high ester, high ABV, Smith & Cross. Oh, nice. Um, and then an aged uh, Martinique rum from, uh, from De Paz. Which is, a, which is a little softer and a little richer than most of the really grassy, really earthy agricoles. Okay. And the combination of these three will give you the ideal flavor profile for the Mai Tai. And then outside of that, there will be just uh, lime juice, uh, orja and uh, orange curacao. So definitely no pineapple and grenadine and all sorts of crazy stuff. No, no pineapple, no. no grenadine, no orange juice, no sotern. The oh. Stuff Shirt restaurant okay. in California once released a Mai Tai with sotern in it, which is a, a wonderful touch. It's probably delicious, touch. Yeah. but not the classic Mai Tai. Not exactly a Mai Tai, no. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, and just to, just to note, if someone wants to make one at home, that, that it's not strictly a, a must to do three different rums. Oh it's no no rum no! Rum of no, their no. choice. No, yeah, absolutely. Else it, most 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 rums will work. I think I think you can't go wrong with a nice fruity heavy Jamaican. Mm -hmm. I would always make that kind of requirement. But then you know you can get something like Appleton Signature. Tesco's currently selling it for fifteen quid. You know. Okay. Crazy good value, works fantastically in a Mai Tai, just use that. That sounds amazing. All right, let's do it as quick as we can so that, you know, people with short attention spans. So we'll be, we'll be starting with the lime juice. There'll be 25 mils of that. 25 of lime. Be using 12.5 orge. Because that's an easy, because that's an easy measurement. With those with a 25 mil jigger, just half the jigger, right? Yeah, just half the jigger. Same for the curaso. So 12.5 of curaso. Yeah. Because you want, you want some sweetness, but you really want the rum to play the main role. And thank you, Dave up. Vondrich, thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Maison Ferron. It's a really good photo. And then, yeah, so it's going to be equal parts. It's going to be 20 mils of each of the rums. And, you know, um, so Vic, Vic said when he was first making it, he was, uh, he was uh, welcoming two of his friends from Tahiti uh, in, his, in his Oakland bar, in the original uh, Trader Vic's bar. Um, and he said that this is really not a drink that you want to where, where you want to overwhelm the rum with loads of ingredients. It's it's mm. very much it's very much um, kind of a pared down tiki drink compared to compared to a lot of other ones. And therefore, we're not going to blend it. We're not going to be using crushed ice or anything. Yeah, we'll just be we'll just be using a few cubes, uh, shaking it, and then serving it over some more cubed ice. Okay, nice. Well, that makes it easier. Pretty for simple us at little home garnish. Yeah, absolutely. We don't have to. <laughs> and how much, just as a, as a, as a kind of curiosity, how yeah. much would you aim to get in dilution? 20-30 mils? I, um, sorry? 20-30 mils of dilution? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I usually go, I usually go for anywhere between 10-15% of the cocktail. Okay, yeah. Because this is really good ice, it doesn't need a particularly long shake. Sharp and strong, as really old rum and lime drinks. You know, that's how I prefer my daiquiris as well. You get that? Yeah. So we're just going to in. strain it out. You want you want a few little ice chips? Give it give it some further dilution. Keep it laughing at you. Make it make it nice and fresh. 
Never miss the opportunity for a long par. JJ Goodman's number one lesson in bartending. Oh, you worked for JJ? Yes, I did. I did nice. uh, nine months in LCC. What's he like to work for? Because I've always wanted to work for him, but I don't he's, think he'd hire me. He's, he's amazing. Uh, uh, honestly, the whole company is, is really the best combination of, of fun and like serious bartending that I can think of. So if you're, if you're moving to London anytime soon and you want fun, serious bartending, JJ Goodman and James <laughs> at the London Cocktail Club. Definitely. Um, the, oh. So the original, the original garnish on this was half a lime and a, and a mint sprig. And the reason for that was that Vic wanted to sort of simulate a little, a little tropical island with a palm tree growing out of it. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to sink a half a lime shell in this. He, he originally insisted that it was the actual lime that you squeezed in. That you yeah. were meant to, that you were meant but to. But because we it, didn't but, have that prepped. <laughs> but because we have, we have some lime juice. I, I thought I'd just put half a lime in there. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then this is my preferred mai tai. Give it a little try. So juice mai tai. Yeah, it's epic. It is tasty. That's isn't really it? good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to taste it? No, Mar I'll go ahead. Marco might finish it. <laughs> yeah, no, go ahead. <laughs> please, please go ahead. That's why That's it's That's really good. And you, re you really get the rum without a kind of a, a rum burn, and there's loads of mint flavor in it as yeah. well. Yeah, that's spot on. Like, about the rum. Just mm. oh, pure rum. It's meant to be, it's meant yeah. to be a rummy but, drink. But like. Without that burn, it's really yeah. cool. Yeah, all, all, the, all the, the lime and the orgeat seem to, have, and, the, and the curacao seem to have just kind of rounded just the rum out. So yeah, they tame it down nicely. Really nice. But you still get a lot of rum coming through. All right, well, um, as far as the recipes, Concerned, we're done there, but let's uh, carry on with a few questions. Oh, yeah, see if you can make another one. Why not have some more fun and uh, I would create a part two? Oh, absolutely, as we're soon to be known for <laughs> with our first part two. No, our second part two was the second, part, second two? part two. Oh, yeah, we only just dropped the secondary one in half. <laughs> We've got to come out with a Max part two. Yeah, Max part two needs to come out. Uh, uh, Havana Max. Oh. Yeah, he was in here. Yeah, no, I've seen, I've seen the first part.